Jocelyn McClellan here with Fit Mission Makeup and I'm excited for this video. Back in 2018, I made a video that was my, what was it called? My mascara review, old makeup versus new makeup. And I wanna show you this and kind of compare how I did my makeup even before mascara, how you see that I do my makeup with mascara, and how I do my makeup now, because nothing is the same. So let's roll that out. All right, so I, I've always kind of prided myself on the makeup application that I do. A lot of it is for beginners, but for mature skin, for younger skin, for for my skin, for your skin, for somebody who's trying to learn more about mascara beauty, cream foundations, anything like that. And I wanted to show you how I used to apply makeup because it's nothing like how I apply now before I use like a bronzer, like hardly anything. And so I wanna walk you through, we're gonna check out this video. I'm gonna put my little earbuds in and um, I'm gonna walk you through this video. But if you remember right, if you didn't see this video, it's right here. This was my makeup bag before and this is my makeup now and I don't even have this completely filled, but this is my makeup bag now. So I distinguished a lot between the two of having to dig through it. And uh, some of the comments were like, you dig through it way too much, but that's literally how it is. Like, let's say for example, okay, I wanna find, um, oh, I don't even know, cause I don't do this anymore. But like what's at the bottom of this is the brush that I'm looking for or which eye color. Okay, because it's like, which eye color am I gonna find? Like that's what I was dealing with in before. So now if I wanna do any of that, I just, they're all right there. And I know which one it is, like off the get go. Okay. Let's watch this, shall we? I'm going to put in my magnetic compact here. Um, I have my eyes in the top. So can I just point out the fact that I don't do my eyes at all, like in this video. My eyeliner is so thick and I hate it. So how I do my eyes now is just so light. I really, really try hard not to have any liner on, but just to make them look a little more full. So that for sure has changed. So I'm gonna put on my 3D foundation. At this moment too, where I'm putting on the foundation, see how I put on the foundation first? Let's get started. Um, and I put it covering my whole entire face. I actually don't do that anymore. Seeing a um, concealer under my eye, I actually can still, with the darker points of what my like skin I had, is, First, yeah, I'm putting foundation all over my face. So now I start with my contour and then I go to my bronzer and then I go to my foundation, but I I don't even put the foundation all over my whole entire face. I just put it in key, key spots. And now I'm going to contour. This is one thing I didn't know what to do before. I thought I was doing it with bronzer, but I was just- and now I'm contouring. Face. So this is how I w was wearing my makeup with Mascara Beauty. And then I know that next, like I'll do how I used to used to wear it. So this is with mascara foundation. But at this point, step number two for me would be bronzing and not, found and not contour. I still love the exact same end of the brush though. That is still exactly the same. Okay, I wanna, like I'm, I'm mind blown how much makeup I used to wear. And truthfully, I didn't think I was wearing very much makeup there. I know that this video is older and so it does kind of have more of a yellow cast to it. So I can't really play into if my makeup is super, super yellow, more yellow than it should have been for my face. But the thing is, is if you are only wearing a little bit of foundation in key areas, even if your makeup was off just a bit, it wouldn't show up as much because you're only, you're wearing more of not a full brightening like, uh, like concealer-ish, but just probably like one shade lighter than your the rest of your foundation So this color that I have under my eyes is just one shade Lighter than what my main foundation would be so it blends in really really well It, it makes it way easier and so I quit using that one and I would apply with my face Okay, okay number one I the smell. Okay, I have to laugh when it says it smells because literally I can't, I don't smell makeup anymore with any makeup that I wear. When with liquid foundations and stuff, dude, right? You can smell it. It stinks. I hate it. Let's do this. So this is, just so we know, the 
foundation part where I was using the CC cream and now I'm using concealer, the NARS concealer. I thought that stuff was the best thing on the planet and it's not, <laughs> like it's so thick. I, I just can't. You guys, this, this method is so hard. The funny thing about all that is though, is that um, again, it's just so much makeup. So like when I touch my face now, I would have no problems with touching my face. Like when before, when I have all that makeup, I'd be scared if I mess it up. Cause heaven forbid, what if I got wet and like drips of makeup was coming off my face? There was just so much. And with cream foundation, I don't have to worry about that any longer. I also don't have to go in with tons of layers with like my, you never ever will see me, well hardly ever. If you see me use a sponge, um, it's cause I accidentally got too much makeup on. Like I never need to use a sponge. Um, then blush. Okay, mascara. So at blush in this compact, but we call it lip and cheek. So lip and cheek blush. I can use my finger because it's a cream, or I can use a brush. So I'm gonna do a pink today, so I can just dab into the pink and put it on my cheek. and I can make it go as strong or as light as I want because if I get too much, it's easy to remove it or like to dab it off and then put it put in a different color or in a different place. So how my blush went on with a powder versus how my blush went on with a cream, I will never use powder blushes again. Ever, never, never. Um, in the side, I know some people say that they like it stronger. So I used to apply the blush up high and now I apl apply my blush on the cheekbone because I want to make sure that I don't go on top of the cheekbone. And that's where a lot of people place blushes is they go on top of the cheekbone. More so like where you would put an illuminator, a highlighter. And that has completely changed. And the thing that I don't like about the powders is depending on if you get a lot on your brush, <laughs> if your brush sucks like this and it gets it more in some places than others, like you can't blend it out as easy. And when you have a cream, when you get it on there and like say I got too much, I can turn my brush over and just keep stippling and dabbling. And and it helps it, it just looks so good. So I most definitely will stick to cream uh, uh, blushes, <laughs> blushes like every day. Okay, wait, can we talk about something? I'm just going around telling you about the blushes and how much I don't like a powder blush and I love a cream because on my face, rewind that, so I thought I was putting on blush, but I'm putting on bronzer. The way that I do bronzer is so different now, um, cause that was back, that bronzer that was showing um, in, the, in that clip was from before I started wearing Mascara Beauty and how I, you just fluff it all over the heck all over your cheek with like no rhyme or reason. And now I use a cream bronzer and when I place it on, I know exactly where I'm placing and I know the amount that I'm placing because if I ever need to blend it out more or anything, I can use this end of the brush. But when I apply it, I use this end. Uh, this is called the blush and bronzer brush. So that's different too. So I haven't even got to the cream, or sorry, the powder blush, and I already know how much I hate it. <laughs> so now we're at the blush. Here we go. See how high it goes up? Like it goes, it goes too high. It goes way too high. This is You don't want your blush that high. It completely makes people look at the blush and not at your pretty eyes. I seriously, you guys, I'm really trying. I'm it can't really blend trying. out as good either. Oh my lands. Oh, this is making my it's heart just, palpitate a little. Is this what I seriously too much. Look like before? And nobody told me? Look at the difference. Okay, so this, you're attracted to this. Like, you just want to look at this. Whereas this is just this soft, true. subtle lift. It's true. 
I feel like I have- Look how strong it is on that, on that right side too. Like when I'm even looking down, it creates too harsh of a shadow. Like it's not, it's no bueno. So now I'm trying to find powder with who knows what brush. I can not tell you. And then I'm putting on powder because that's what all the tutorials told me I should do. This is actually really fun to watch. I realize how much actually, I've grown as a human um, being like in the makeup field. <laughs> Okay, Jess. Drama. So, so far, we I put powder on the old, old side. I haven't put any powder on the mascara side um, because I really didn't use a lot of powder. And if I do use a lot of powder, it's just in key places. Powder, I feel like, is way overused in the beauty industry. I do think that teenagers, maybe like, because they've just been told in tutorials to just go and a bake a lot, but if you have a really fine, awesome powder, Laura Mercier makes a really good one. Uh, we have a really good one. Um, when you when you use just a little bit, that makes all the difference. And when you press it in versus swirling it on, when you swirl it on, it's not gonna really do its job, but when you press it in, it's, it's way better. So I'm gonna powder and I'm gonna press in. So did you, I don't know if you noticed, but the other one, I just spooked it around. And with mascara, where how how they have this brush like this, I'm able this to is more just powder, you powder and press and press because that's actually going to get your oil areas tapped off. They are shut down. So again, I only go in and powder like so so minimally. So I would take on my sponge. I'd get off any excess on my hand. And then I would only put it where I feel I get a little bit oilier, but I want to keep that dewy in here. And that's like, if I do do any of that, it's like so minimal, but I want to keep that more fresh alive right in here. Okay, with mascara, this is how I do my liner. I get asked on this all the time because it just looks natural. So I just use this black I already said Salem. in this that I didn't I use the black any Salem. eyeliner yet. And I or maybe I'm just trying just to give you the example. Uh, the mascara beauty eyeshadows are not, uh, even though everything else is a cream, they're powders. And I would go in, I go in up under the lash. But I couldn't go in up under the lash with the other one, the one that I used before you guys this is so, so yeah, bad but I could. you don't I wear could. eyeliner that thick yeah, but this, you'll see what like I for reals i promise as soon as I all it does is make you look older so this is where this it gets is really the good shadow sense and i would get the liner it was so thick on oh my, my gosh brush, like so not too much not too much not too much because with this one, you don't want to get too much. Or it looks like crap looks for how much I got like, on it. Really, it truly does. If you get too much um, stuff of the shadow sense, you'll you look, look like poo. <laughs> <laughs> so for someone like me, you can't even get the, my wing solid. Who loves makeup, but I'm not, I'm not a professional makeup artist in the sense of eyeliner. <laughs> This is what I did every day. I couldn't even work out without putting eyeliner on. Okay, let me make this very clear. I used to think that I was not pretty unless I went to bed with my makeup on and woke up with makeup on. Like I thought that Brady, my husband, wouldn't find me as attractive as well if I did it that way. When I would work out early in the morning, I would have on so much eyeliner. You guys, there was so much eyeliner that literally almost my whole, like my, like my eyes open, almost half of my lower lid was filled. Like you can't do that. If you're doing it, stop. Let me do you the solid favor because it's hideous. I can't, I, this makes me want to vomit. Okay, not that bad, but it's not cute. Brows, I used to just do the rainbow. It's not a rainbow anymore, kids. It's a boomerang. Boomerang those eyebrows. So up, down. Don't, no rainbows. 
Right yeah, so brows for me has changed a lot too. If you look at in this video, my brows are super filled and I don't do that anymore. I go in with the Glossier. I love this stuff. So it's the brow, that's the boy brow and the brow flick, the colors blonde that I use and it's my favorite. So I go in first with this uh, tip and I, and I like raise them all up, give them a shape and then I just go in and have the, boy, the brow flick fill in the empty spaces. So I try and make them super more natural and not so, so thick applied. Okay, so this is the illuminator I used before, NARS Orgasm. That's what I used before. And I would just put it right here. I still got the illuminator. <laughs> I really did like it's that stuff. But now I know the gold besides not you using that stuff. Like a latte. And then my illuminator, I love to do it with it going into it is, here. It is a good product, it is. But I like this other one better, but it is good. And I still like a cream illuminator applied with the sponge. I, no, I do I really still like that. I got some color not where I want it, under my eye with my mascara. So I'm just or my finger. But it does show up a little better with the sponge. Right now, shine of my mascara. I just, desert sunset, everyday look, every day. So, um, like so for lips, color. huge difference in how I do them too. So everyday look, right? But the, but the biggest difference is I go in with the smaller end of my detail hack brush and I add just my contour to kind of line the lips because what it does is it creates a shadow there so it makes my lips look bigger. It's the best thing ever, but it's still, it's still so simple, so smooth, and then I just put a, a gloss on it, like a really neutral, just like I did in this one with Desert Sunset. Now I use this one called Sadie and it just makes it such a smooth, natural, beautiful look. Okay, that was interesting because I truly have not watched that video um, since uh, it's been forever, since probably I filmed it, but I learned a lot. One, I learned how dramatic this was, which a lot of people have commented on that. Two though, I learned that what I really used to know in the past before 2017 was pretty minimal, even though I prided myself on makeup even then, but just how much I've grown and I know now. And now what I know is how much more simple I make, make, I make my makeup, um, even for mature skin, for more youthful skin, even my daughters. Um, my daughters wear just a main foundation in key areas and then bronzer. Um, and then how much more fun my makeup is now and I feel more beautiful uh, wearing less. And so things have changed. So I hope you liked that tutorial. I hope that you liked that recap of how things kind of went from my old, old makeup to how I used to wear mascara to how I wear mascara now. If you love videos that I create, that I make, know that there's hair videos, makeup videos, uh, fitness videos, kind of just personality out there, love and life, live and life kind of videos, then make sure that you subscribe to this channel have a little fun with me. Oh, on Instagram, you can go to uh, jocelyn.mcclellan and on Facebook, you can go to Fit Mission Makeup with Jocelyn McClellan where I go live on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You guys are awesome. Thanks for being here. Take care. We'll see you next time.